welcome to the show. Thank you. Editor, co-editor, Chantel, where does it all start and where did it start? So it started, um, it was a kernel of an idea. Yeah. Um, I had started my company, Big Catch Communications, okay. in the fall of 2016. And Lauren joined me in the winter of 2017. Wow. And we were discussing what we would like to do. Um, this was in the summertime of mm -hmm. 2017. What we would like to do to sort of celebrate the one year anniversary of Big Catch Communications. And um, Lauren had asked me, what are the things that I really love? And one of the things that I love, um, having done a lot of work in this industry, was magazines, so print magazines. It's special reading and viewing from the audience out there, isn't it? How do you select? And what do you select for a, a body to your magazine? So for the stories, you mean? Right? Yes. So we compile all the ideas that we possibly come out with um, yeah. over the course of you know, a year or six months, yeah. depending on what our lead time is. Okay. Um, and then we, we really kind of challenge each other to come up with the best idea. So we could sit in a room um, with each other and say, this is a story I'd like to tell. And Lauren will say to me, no, not good enough. <laughs> Let's elevate that story. What's yeah. a different, what's a better way to tell that story? What's, how do we get to the story that's not told? Yeah. Um, because there's lots of media in our region. There is. And we don't want to retell the same yeah. stories. Otherwise, we're not very relevant. Yeah. Um, so we, we challenge each other to come up with the best way to um, tell the story in terms of um, the angle that we're going to take, but also the imagery um, that we're going to take. And, okay. we, and we have to be sure that we're going to balance um, regional stories, right. um, male, female. You know, we want a lot of diversity in the magazine. So. Very much so. You encompass the three United Counties plus Aquasasne. And Cornwall. Yep. And Cornwall. Yes. That, that's quite a uh, unique. Well, uh, we are, I mean, we are neighbors yeah. and we're very much um, intrinsically tied together. Yeah. Um, we, we need each other. Yeah. And so we want to tell those stories about how we are really one community. We, we each have our sort of individual characteristics. Okay. You put out how many copies? We started with 250 yeah. copies. Our goal for our next issue, so now five copies in, um, is 5,000. Okay, great. But we're limited um, yeah. by things like budget and time and also timeliness because when you only come out, say, once or twice a year, yeah. you can only tell so many stories, you can only reach so many people. And so that's led us to our latest venture that we launched today, mm -hmm. which is perchmagazine.com. Okay. And um, so it's a website. It holds all the articles that we have. It serves as a bank of all the stories we've done, but also gives us an opportunity to tell more stories, to work with more contributors, to showcase our community more. All of our stories will be featured individually, so our readers can find the story and then they can share that story um, way more easily. Um, we've had a lot of people in the community mention they've heard about a certain story or they've heard about the magazine, but yeah. they haven't been able to get a print copy. Yeah. Yeah. So this we're hoping will open up Me. access. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that everyone yeah. can see the stories. Yeah. Um, also, we feel like it's a way for our contributors, our photographers, illustrators, writers, um, to showcase their work more. Okay. Um, that they're able to um, show off their work online. Mm -hmm. And finally, we're going to be able to do more stories, which for us is the most exciting okay. part because we can do stories as we find them mm -hmm. and not have to wait that six to 12 months to put it into print. Yeah. And we're going to be able to include audio and visual as well. So for us, it's a big win. It's really exciting. Mm -hmm. We'll continue to print, of yeah. course, um, but we're excited to add this to the brand. Chantel, mm -hmm. will we take it from there? Long term, I'm hoping that it continues to be um, it continues to be the place that people want to go yeah. to find information about our region, and yeah. that they're inspired by it and delighted by it, and that they they see Cornwall, Aquasasne, and SDNG the way we see it, which yeah. is this wonderful place to live and Good. work.